Are you naked in front of it? Why do you have to pay a penny to see yourself naked and weigh yourself? Like, that seems inappropriate. I don't want to have any part of that. Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm here at Digger's Antique Mall in Ocala, Florida, and we're gonna head on inside here and see what I can find. Let's go. All right, let's head on inside and see what we can find today here at Digger's. Oh, they've got a cool phone booth out here. Very British. I just walked in, they have these little home co-elves here and I've bought and sold these many times. Now, normally you'll find them in sets of three. They're Home Co. Little Pixie Elves here, and Home Co. has their foil sticker on there, and that's a brand by Home Interiors, which used to be really popular, kind of like a mail order catalog type deal. They have these Brass Deer, $70 for the pair of those, and then they've got these birds right here for 60. That's really nice. And then also, I'm noticing some Fenton and the Aqua Crest and the Rose Crest back here. $30 piece and that one the ruffled top is lovely with for $30 on that one gosh I don't ever see these I actually have one that I need to sell they have $20 on it but it is so unique because what it is is this old and I'm gonna say it's probably from the 50s or so maybe even 40s but it's this postcard holder and so you can well not that thing that looks like poo poo but if you, if you get in there there's like a little postcard and there you can see the back of it right there and it's a wonderful holder there's like this foil see it that's the back of it there and then all this great foreground kind of like a shadow box it's just neat i actually have one i need to sell and i've been holding on to it for too long and i'm it's ready to, I'm ready to sell it but this is this is just cool and then there's also these piano babies they're known as piano babies and they would go on like a well like a grand piano like a baby grand piano so those are nice as well and I really like this bowl I just noticed they have 75 on it is that right 75 no 95 it's hard to know sometimes this one is very interesting and I have to tell you I do not know who did it it's opalescent but it is you could feel it you can feel every every line on that that is beautiful I actually do not know anything about this bowl if anybody knows you could drop in the comments below maybe because I haven't seen it. It's this opalescent bowl. Opalescent meaning that it's like opaque, like a white, and then it goes out to a clear in this case. That's really cool. I like that one. And it's always interesting to find something that I haven't seen before, like, like this blue slag. Now this is slag glass. You can see some of that nice coloring in there, but it's very, very blue. So that's, that's more blue than some of the, the blue slag that I've seen, for sure. Oh, I like this. Oh, I haven't seen this either. My gosh. Alicite, is that what this is? Alicite vase for 40. This is yet again another thing I haven't really noticed before. It looks like it's custard glass on the interior and then fired on green on the exterior some custard glass will glow not all of it does and that's not a prerequisite for it to be custard glass necessarily but it's just really awesome and then there's this blue milk glass right here as well and blue milk glass is often not called blue milk glass because people don't think of it that way but it is it's blue milk glass and there's white milk glass so you've got this wonderful and this is victorian era era not error this you know what I'm starting to see a theme here this vendor has very unique things <laughs> that is not all that common to find so many interesting things that I haven't seen before but that's wonderful the fact that there's a blue one and a white one and this is from about 1900 late 1800s it's old it's not it's not from yesterday even this this is a unique form as well in this what in the world is that a shoe? What? This is Daisy and Button pattern. Very popular pattern, but this form I've never seen before. What in the world? How much was that thing? 55. Wow. And there's even like the canoes. My gosh. Mm. I am pleasantly surprised. So far, I'm pleased. And there's also Jadeite which is green milk glass and there's pink milk glass there's chocolate milk glass chocolate milk is good 
and they're I can't even drink oh I can't drink chocolate milk but oh my gosh I'm gonna if this is damage free I'm gonna buy this actually this is unique as well and ten dollars okay oh my huh it's a souvenir plate and it's old and it has these owls on it and look at the moon that's brilliant i like it a lot oh wow that's pretty too it says french opaline dresser dish look at that i like this one as well oh, i miss seeing quality stuff i go to a lot of state sales these days and yes there's quality to be found there of course but the amount and the sheer the quantity the quantity of it is just unheard of. it's just so much more and it's oh what is this at an antique mall i like this plastic plastic i do i do cherish you so this is known as a hurricane lamp it's also like a gone with the wind style oh oh look at this Oh, there's like a shelf in the way. It's hard to open this one. I like that. Look, there's a camel. Oh, yes. That is everything. You are so beautiful. 110 hand-painted Nippon vase. That is lovely. We need to remember Nippon. It dates between 1891 and 1921. That's beautiful. That orange is so immense. It, you just look at it and think you're in front of a sunset. Ooh, and there's a ton of the Roseville here. Look at this, well, there's three pieces. Of the Roseville, you've got clemat clematis, which is a flower. And that's the pattern there. These are very, they kind of have a nod to Art Deco times, don't they? With the way the handles are, the sort of geometric lines to it. This is great. They've got all this Pyrex over here with the yellow and the lid. They call this the hostess dish. Mm -hmm. It's pretty popular. They made this in other colors as well. This one is the yellow, and I've also seen it in red quite often. And they also have the snowflake garland pattern here in the blue, which is a fun one. Pyrex is, of course, very, very collectible. There's tons of patterns you could collect. Over here, there are some Fire King. That's known as the Gay Fad paint job. And you've got a little casserole and a fridge dish next to it. Glass bake, also popular. One you don't see very often. And I like glass bake stuff because look how cool that form is. It's like a little D-handle mug. The paint is a little screwy on it. You can see where it's kind of messed up. But boy, that's beautiful. Over here you have a Czechoslovakia style um, uh, pitcher, but it's most likely made in Japan. I love it because it has this peach luster and this geometric form to it. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, this is Czechoslovakia. Uh, Jap made in Japan. Japan did a lot of this kind of stuff, but of course the original came out of Czechoslovakia. That's beautiful. I like that. And then here, You've got a peach and blue luster. This is made in Japan. And you can see it right there on the bottom. Made in Japan. And so is that. Fenton Silver Crest. That's beautiful. Oh, look at the art glass. Yes. Mary Gregory. Hi, Mary. Hi, Greg. That's not that's not what the point <laughs> That's Mary. <laughs> but this is a uh, cranberry glass. And it's stained. You can see the edge there where it's kind of stained up on there. That's nice. Little head vase, woman, leaded glass piece. This is Hazel Atlas and it's a strawberry jam dish. It's milk glass and it's ornamented on the exterior with this wonderful coloring. They did make two other fruits that I'm aware of, an apple and a pineapple. The pineapple is really hard to find. And if you find it for under, well, I'm not gonna say how much, but if you find it, you should probably get it, look it up before you buy it and, and see if you wanna get it. But Last time I checked, they were over $50 for one of those. So, yeah. An assortment of pie birds. Huh. Pie birds are named that because they go in your pie to let the steam out. They're useful things to have. You don't want too steamy of a pie. 
That would be disastrous for your mouth. Ooh, there's more of the milk glass. I have one of these I need to sell. It's this battleship type thing. Oh boy. Antique milk glass mustard dish. 1900 repaired, repaired as is. They want 20 for theirs as is. I have a good one at, that I need to sell. That's not repaired. That's not as is. Lithographic print, $75. That's always good. That's pottery. Wait, is it pottery? Yes, at first I was thinking maybe it was black amethyst, but it's not. Black amethyst and that little girl's smile. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a room back here. Longa burgers. I really think I had that whenever I was younger. It's an elephant. And it's, I think I had this very specific one because I remember buying this at the Dollar Tree, $5 inflation. But I, I remember this finish so, so vividly. I had so many of these darn figurines of animals, of angels, of people, of just, I was like a 70 year old woman whenever I was eight. It explains a lot now looking back, but. Look at this. Ooh, look at that. Crouching lion, hidden banana. Wouldn't that be a fun movie? Ooh, that's a blue fish. We got a blue fish with the controlled bubbles. Lots of controlled bubbles. And it says controlled bubbles. If you want to sound fancy, then you say bulacante. Mm, this painting is still here. The last time I came to this antique mall and filmed, we talked about this painting. It's pretty interesting. I don't remember how much it was. I forget. Oh, okay. $495. Yeah. So it's really pretty. Yeah, you look. But uh, I don't want to pay that much money for a painting because I am cheap. Sometimes I'm not cheap. Sometimes I'm extravagant. But sometimes I'm cheap. And that's okay. You need to know where your line is. Those girls are having a great time. Drink in there, see her up. I like this case. Actually, it's more than a case. It's a whole thing. Look at this, it opens and everything. <gasps> wow. What I wanted to look in here is all these barber bottles. They're milk glass and they're old and fun. Oh, look how great, how great it is. There's a ton of them. That's more than one man can take. That's a lot. Oh, and all of the mustache mugs and the shaving mugs. That's a mustache mug. <gasps> That's a shaving mug. Mm, there's so many. So many. What are these? Harvey, no, Marvy? Sterilize? Sterilizer. Oh. Mmm. I don't want to be sterilized. Or maybe I do. Wouldn't it make things easier if you don't have to worry? What, what who am I kidding? Me? Me worry about that? You worry about that? Really? They got all these mantle clocks. Those are beautiful. Uh -huh. And there's grandpa and grandma clocks. Or I mean grandfather and grandmother clocks. They've got them all here. It's just a lot of trouble to move one of those things. I'll tell you what. I like the floor. I'm a fan of this kind of a floor. Yep. Oh, I remember this booth. They did great things in it. They still do. <gasps> That's a flamingo paint by number. Do they realize? I'm sure they do. $40. Look at all the Franciscan Desert Rose right here. And Apple. Just mix right in. You know, Jackety, Jackety, Jackety Kennedy. <laughs> Popular. <laughs> Jackety. <laughs> Jack, Jack. Jackie Kennedy popularized this pattern. It said that she used it. Mm-hmm. Can't imagine. Like, did she really, though, in the White House? Or was somebody else cooking her stuff and making her stuff? Oh, birds. Mice. Ah, more Pyrex. You've got the Spring Blossom. Crazy Daisy. It's also cold. And that's Hall. And that's the Red Poppy. 
poppy, red poppy, like, you know, the woman that fell over whenever she's trying to get to the green emerald city in the poppy field because of all the opium. This is really cool, and I haven't really seen it before, but it's the Jenning Brothers, this woman here, and it's this nice tray, vanity tray, or a card, hold, like a calling card holder, maybe? Could just be general for, like, a vanity piece to put your stuff on, but 155, $155 for the Jenning Bros, and this is truly Art new. Art Nouveau time frame. So it's very nice. There's still some coloring on here. That's really great. I like that piece a lot. This is cool. They got some like architectural salvage crap over here. I like it a lot. Look at this coffee machine. Coffee black. Coffee with cream. Coffee black and sugar. Coffee cream and sugar. Coffee cream and double sugar. Hot chocolate. Isn't that cool? It says Epco. That's neat. $2,400. No key. No key, no coffee for you. Mm -mm. That's neat. What is this? <gasps> it's a scale? Is that a scale for a person? With a mirror? Really? Are you naked in front of it? Why do you have to pay a penny to see yourself naked and weigh yourself? Like, that seems inappropriate. I don't want to have any part of that. No. What does this one do? This is also a penny scale. Like, if you're not naked or anything, maybe you're just like, yep, that's my knees. That's what they look like. That's me. No denying that one. Basically, this is the back half of the antique mall. Kind of open air, like a hangar, like a pole barn. What do we got? What is this? Brass armal armalary, arm what, who are you? Armillary? I like that. Doesn't that seem like a Harry Potter thing? Like, kinda. Oh, why do you want this guy? He's a sheep playing golf. All night long, all night, all night long, all night. Hey, there's these pipes. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. All night long. That's pretty. That's a lovely blue. I like that glaze. What is this? What is this? Oh my. Is that a spider or an ant? Omar Chalukanas? Chalukanas? Oh. What is that? Is that a lizard? This is interesting. What's the price? Do we know? Is it 20? That's unique. I would... Oh, it's been broken. You're broken down and tired. You can see where it's broken down and tired. Of living life on the merry-go-round. That's sad. Oh. I would have gotten it, maybe, if you weren't broken like a dum-dum. I would have gotten you. But you had to go and ruin it for everybody. This is... This is made in England, and it's, I think, called Brown Betty. Is it Brown Betty? Did I make that up? Is it really... Is her name Betty? I don't know. It's made in England, like I said. Maybe her name's not Betty, but I thought it was a Brown Betty. Brown Betty keep on turning Working for the man every night and day I know this is the wrong season for it, but look It's a big green tree 125 and honestly If there's nothing wrong with that, that seems like a really approachable price And it's a large one It's a large tree Oh, look at that. we got a little cluster, uh, not a cluster, a luster Right here with the nice hangy bits we love a hangy bit. Oh, speaking of bits that hang, look at this teardrop. I appreciate that. That's so pretty. Look, it's very Art Nouveau. It is, uh, as is for $1,400. So I'm going to imagine that some of these are missing. Yeah, there's one that's missing. But they're wonderful. It's reverse painted. Oh, and also there's a big chunk right here that's broken. So... It's just as is. That's nice. Look at her. She's washing her hair down by the river. 
this is known as a flower frog and you can put your flowers in all of these holes and then it would and then this thing can go inside of a console bowl a wider shaped bowl and this in the center of it I actually have this mug at home but mine doesn't have the green inside of it like this one it was like a, I don't know a couple few months ago I was still in Illinois whenever I got it but I bought one of these mugs in savers and it's the same mug well, actually this one's better the colors are more intense and I like intense and the green that's quite stunning should we get it for ten dollars the longer I hold it and the more I talk about it I'm going to get it so I'll get it it's all right I like this case I'm a fan of that I like it it slides slide to the left it does it slides and slides to the right too it just doesn't crisscross and clap its hands you know why I said that because it's a song I'm not just being stupid well I mean I can be both at the same time but ooh, I like this do you understand that I like it this is stunning it's eight dollars and it's very very neat it looks to me it looks to me to be Czechoslovakia art class. I'm not going to say that like 100%. No, it wouldn't be that weird, but it looks very good. It has the pontal mark on the bottom. That's what that goobered up part is. That's whenever it was made. They just did it. They had to do it. They could have smoothed it, but they didn't. But I'll get this as well. This is a very pretty situation. Okay, I did pretty well. I found those three items, one for myself and like two to sell. But overall, it was pretty great. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.